What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be using Brian Ortega, as you guys know. He's fighting Frankie Edgar, so let's check out his perks. He has Weapon Storms level 3, Off the Back level 4, and Tap Already level 3. His striking, it's all in the high 80s, so we're, we're going to be pretty good there. Or at least I feel like I will be. And his grappling is where he shines, as you guys all know. The submission offense is 97 which is pretty you know one of the highest that I've seen I haven't really checked out all the stats you know in, in the game but that's one of the highest I've seen his health is awesome his grappling stamina is good so so we really should be good man I'm really gonna try to get a sub you know cause that's how Brian Ortega would finish a fight so yeah, I'm very excited for this fight this weekend, man. Frankie Edgar, like I said, is one of my favorite fighters, but Brian Ortega kind of kind of has a style to beat Frankie Edgar in a way because like his submissions are so slick, and Frankie Edgar, you know, if he tries to take him down, you know what's gonna happen, or maybe Frankie Edgar won't even try to take him down. But we'll just have to see what happens. Alright. We're fighting Cub Swanson, which I love, man. I love seeing this. And I'm going to let you guys know, yes, I am fighting on a different account. I blocked out the name this time, but it, I did that because it's my wife's account. And I just, you know, I figured I'd block out the name. But I'll show you guys the stats. This is ranked, so... I'll show you guys the stats after. Also, as I do this fight, guys. Ooh, he's hurt. Hold on. Hold that thought. Marshall Mind, I was watching his Justin Gaethje video. And he was like, I'm not even going to use head movement. And that made me think, like, maybe I should try this. And I'm not, I'm, I'm really going to try it. Unless I absolutely have to. I'm not going to use, you know, the head movement. I'm not going to use the sways. I'm just going to try to beat him to the punch if I can. But let's try to clinch him. I want to see his clinch. See what this Cup Swanson's got. I have a submission plan. Because from double unders, Brian Ortega has a triangle choke. I'm not sure how many fighters have that, but I'm going to try to pull that off if I can. But yeah, I'm not going to use any head movement. As you guys see, I'm just trying to, you know, land clean shots. And actually, I've been doing this for a few fights now. Ever since I watched that Justin Gaethje fight. But I decided to, you know, record two fights with Brian Ortega, and I'm going to try it in these videos. I'm getting hit a little bit, but I'm still okay. But it made me think of UFC 2. How many people didn't use head movement? And now, everyone's using it. I understand it's a big part of the game, but... I don't think it's... it's needed as much as people use it. I could be wrong, but... So, so far I hurt him. He hasn't really been able to do too much. Oh, I can't get that takedown. He did cause a health event on my leg, so... Kind of even in that aspect. But yeah, I feel like I'm only going to try to use head movement when it's absolutely needed for, you know, for a while. Because I see people like swaying to the side, like constantly. Like, this Cup Swanson guy's doing good, but I see people coming out all swaying and it's just. Sometimes it's not needed. I don't 
that's that's how I feel, I guess. But I suggest you guys try it. I mean, obviously sway when you need to. All right, I'm talking too much. I'm getting hurt. Let's see if we can return some fire. I really want to get this fight to the ground. I gotta clinch this dude when he's not expecting it because he was blocking all my other clinch attempts in the last round. All right. Yeah, I'm getting lit up now, guys. Getting lit up. Oh, he's beating up my legs, too. This guy's good, man. All right, I got him in the clinch. I got to try to do this. I'm just going to try it. This will at least get me to the ground. I want his stamina to be lower. Oh, no way. I'm going to get it. Oh, no way. I thought I blocked it. Alright. This is where I want to be. The triangle choke. Oh, I'm getting that switch. I'm getting it. That's it. Yes! That's Brian Ortega for you, man. You do not stay on the ground for too long. I bet that guy's mad. He's mad. Maybe not, but to set up and ultimately finish the submission here tonight. And that cup swats him in was good. I couldn't I just could not stand with him. Like you, you gotta change things up, you know. If you can be on the feet, you gotta at least try the ground or try the clinch. He was doing more damage in the second round than the first. I feel like the first might have been a toss up. Well, like I said, I was trying not to use head movement. I was just trying to pick my shots a little bit more, but like I'm not saying I'm gonna completely abandon the head movement. I'm just gonna try not to use it for a little bit, just so I can kind of train myself to use it when I really, really need it or when it's really necessary. Because I kind of find myself just swaying off shots, like you know, like you guys, you, you guys probably see it all the time. You guys just swaying and throwing hooks, swaying, throwing hooks, or ducking and doing the uppercut. But yeah, let's see who won that first round. He did, huh? All right, all across the board too. I thought maybe you know I held my own, but it is what it is. So. Let's go get another fight, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, I am back with you, and we are fighting Conor McGregor. So this could be a tough fight, depending on the Conor player. I'm going to try to get another submission. I mean, I'm not going to make any promises, but I am going to try. I'm going to try to suck this dude's uh, stamina up. I really want to try that triangle when his stamina is low. I feel like that will be my best bet. I really want to get that triangle. I gotta check and see if anyone else has that. I, I don't know if that's just a um, Brian Ortega thing or if other people have that. That wasn't in UFC 2. Not the flying triangle, or at least I don't think it was. Let me know in the comments if you guys, if that was. I don't, I wasn't really a uh, submission guy in UFC 2, so. I don't know if it was or not, so. I could be completely wrong. Let's clinch up. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. This guy, he just wants to break. 
I'm gonna try to clinch him again. Let's see if he wants to break. Ah, oh, that's it. All right, this dude just wants to break. Oh man, I was gonna try it right there, but he broke. They made the breaks like super fast. You gotta like fake and break or or some. Most time, I mean, you can just break like that guy did, but. Guys will pick up on that, man. And I'm just keeping that in the back of my mind. I'm trying to do the elbow. Alright. This guy's using sways good. He's not swaying all over the place. You know, he's using sways when he has to. Nope. Nope. Let's take him down. I want to get his stamina low. I don't want to... I thought about trying it, you know, but I just want to see. I want to get hit, his stamina a little bit low. Unless I can get it right here, I'll, I'll take this too, you know. <laughs> All right. See, that kind of gives me an idea of what he's going to do. He is going to use at least three gates. When you're trying to go for a submission, you gotta really f kind of feel your opponent out. Usually, it's very rare to get it on the first try. I have a few times, but you gotta get your opponent's pattern. We heard him there. So this is kind of not what I wanted. I kind of, I kind of blew my stamina a little bit. But my ground stamina is better than than my striking stamina, so that should kind of make up the difference. But I wanted to get Connor's low because I'm gonna try this triangle this round. Hopefully, I can. Uh... All right, he don't want to touch up, so I'm gonna clinch him right away. He's gonna. Come on, man! Don't just break. Let's go to over under. Let's block that. I mean, double under. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to push him against the fence. I, I didn't really mean to do that. All right, he saw that coming. All right, I don't feel like he's going to see this coming at all. Nice. He's he's swaying to his left, nice, and throwing that left hook, nice. I, you know, he's doing a few things good. But again, guys, I'm not using head movement at all. I'm just trying to land clean shots, trying to pick my shots a little bit better. I feel like it might make me a little bit better stand-up fighter if, if I try this, uh, this strategy. So you guys don't do what this guy's doing. You're just trying to break, man. And people... We're going to pick up on that. Let's go to double under. Block that. He went the same way. Flying triangle. Let's try it. Those are fast. That's it. Yes. Yes. Brian Ortega, man. Submission artist. I feel like I did him justice, guys. Let me know in the comments if you think so. I really tried. I feel like that's how, you know, that's something he, that he would have done. I think he actually has done something kind of like that. I forget what fight it was now, but... I don't know if it was exactly... A flying triangle, but he caught somebody in a triangle. And it was like out of nowhere. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I'm only going to get two fights. I'm not even going to jinx it. You know, if I went and got a third fight, I'd probably get wrecked. So I'm just not even going to do it. Just not even going to do it.
But yeah, guys, let me know who you think is going to win this weekend. I still think uh, Frankie Edgar is going to win. But that's just my opinion. Brian Ortega has a really good chance of catching Frankie Edgar. But if Frankie Edgar can keep on the feet, I feel like he can win with his boxing, with his in and out. Like his fast hands, his in and out movement. So the Connor guy was, you know... He was hitting me. He was doing all, like a lot of good things. He even knocked me down once, I believe. Or maybe he didn't. But yeah, let's see who was winning the fight. Wow, the judges had it that he was winning. Huh, interesting. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new, if you want, if you want to see more. But... Most of all, guys, just keep having fun, and until next time, peace.